We saw people who were in a camp, 10 day old camp, meaning that they fled from the southern part where the war was going on and they came to the northern part of Somalia and they were in a camp. But also on the other side of the town there was a camp which was existing 16 years old. And the two camps were almost exactly the same. Uh, we saw mothers uh, who don't have a food, enough food to feed their children. We saw children, youth, who are 16, 15, 20 years old, never been to the school because there is no school existing and because there was no opportunity provided to them. And also we met fathers who were willing to work harder in order to get uh, to feed their family members, but there were no jobs existing. This is the same exactly that we saw in 1992. It's almost similar in 1992 what I saw myself. Yeah. And we call this youth um, the future of Somalia tomorrow. They have never seen peace uh, in Somalia, stable Somali government. Uh, and they didn't have an opportunity to uh, go to the school. And they literally sleep at night in the calm, wake up in the morning, and uh, it's almost doing nothing but trying to find something to feed or uh, to themselves and their family members. And now with the drought that's happening, it's adding another pressure because people for the last two to three years, Somalia uh, didn't have uh, enough rain in the south central part of Somalia and overall in Somalia. For the past two or three years, people were lost in their livestock. Uh, they lost it, uh, their agricultural land, and now they are on the verge of losing their um, lives, and, uh, and some of them even lost it on the way to uh, to Mogadishu, living f all the way from the, in the middle of South Central uh, Bay and Bakal region, coming to Mogadishu. Uh, the, there are 2.8 million people inside Somalia who need emergency food assistance in, today. And, and this, that's why the world now today is responding, including uh, us, uh, to provide services to those people who really uh, lost almost everything. Uh, we want to ch save their lives and that's so important to us. We don't want our children die for lack of food uh, or malnutrition. We don't want our mothers um, uh, you know, die because of uh, lack of food. We don't want our fathers even die because of lack of food. We really are concerned about what's happening in Somalia. Uh, and there's hope there now. Uh, the, the, the world, the whole world now is giving an attention to Somalia, but we are glad that we are the first responders that are now international organization. Very few international organizations that we are in Somalia, particularly in the area that has been affected by the drought.